Good morning again, folks, from the Looney Bin. I'm not going to go into, well, politics, Irish politics today. I want to tell you about an experience I had. I uh, went into a shoe shop yesterday, bought a pair of shoes, and I wanted a pair of leather insoles to go with them. So uh, I asked the lady for these, and she said, yes, we have those. And she showed me them and said they would be 10 euros. Now, the last time I bought them, a pair of these, they were 5 euros. And she said to me, oh, everything has gone up. Well, yeah, everything has gone up. They've doubled in price. Now, I went online the same day to AliExpress, a uh, Chinese exporter, and I bought the same pair of uh, uh, leather insoles for 88 cents. Now, I'll have to wait four weeks. They're coming by slow, snail post from Hong Kong. So I got these for 88 cents instead of 10 euros from a, the price from a large, well-known shoe shop in Dublin city centre. So um, I don't know whether it's gouging or what's going on, but I can tell you um, if you're prepared to wait a few weeks for anything, just go online and buy your stuff directly from China. Now, China may not be allowed to sell stuff much longer, in fact, to the West, because they are aligned with Russia, and uh, they're trying to tread softly uh, because they are a booming economy and the biggest in the world and a bigger power than America, and they are starting to flex their muscles. The Yanks hate this. The angst have also caused angst throughout Europe, of course, by stopping the gas flow from um, uh, the gas flow and the oil flow from Russia. Now, great, great. That's great for the Yanks. They love these um, sanctions. They have also sanctioned Venezuela and Iran, two of the biggest oil reserve countries in the world if they were allowed to pump out oil tomorrow there would be no the price of oil would probably drop by half instead the yanks are controlling it more and more because less and less countries that produce large amounts of oil are coming under the friendly uh, status of big uncle sam so who's causing this recession is it putin or is it the United States? Is it speculators in America? The fracking industry in America is rebooming because the oil is so high and they can pump out all they want and they're opening up Alaska and other places to fracking. And uh, it's great for Uncle Sam, great business for the big oil companies. Anyway, that's just a rant about the cost of everything. And poor China is trying to step lightly in between it all because they are in a hard place. Uh, if so, will the Yanks be if uh, Apple pull out of China and their iPhones that they're selling for a thousand euros and, and making for 50 euros in China are no longer coming in from China? So, uh, all these uh, things have a knock on effect. I went up to a shopping centre to buy the, uh, yesterday and the shops were full of um, all kinds of rubbish, most of it from China. Everything I bought in nearly every shop was from China, whether it's shoe shops, perfumes, you name it, knickknacks, all kinds of gadgets. Those, shoe, those shops are paying huge rent to developers who own the, the, the whole place and they are surviving on the fact that they can buy a pair of these wholesale, a couple of thousand of them, for 88 cents from China and charge 10 euros when you or I, the ordinary punter, walks in to buy one. He's outraged. So what can he do? If he waits a month, he can give them the thumbs up and boycott them. But most people don't want to wait a month. So every big shopping centre in a country is dependent upon cheap Chinese produce coming in, selling it at a huge profit 
and then being able to pay the developer his uh, huge rent, to be able to pay now the huge energy costs of keeping the shops open. And of course, the labor is getting cheaper every day now with all the new people coming into the country, but there is still a floor on, on labor and they do have to pay them some reasonable amount of money. So um, everything is having a big knock-on effect here. And the Americans are the cause of a lot of these problems. Make no mistake about it. The Americans are the cause uh, of the recession that's coming into Europe at the moment. Their bank, the, 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 another big bank collapsing, Credit Suisse bailed out by the Swiss, knock-on effect all over the world. Once again, we see the bankers out of control, cre adding, compounding, to the recession that's coming down the tracks. So that's the rant for this morning, folks. And by the way, Sinn Féin should not be complaining if the, the uh, borders uh, between England and Ireland are hardened up uh, because, and, and Mr. Jeffrey Donaldson does not want any hard borders. But if there's no hard border between England and Ulster, every refugee in the world would be flying into England as well as Ireland, hopping on a ferry over to Belfast and getting a bus or a train down to Dublin. So Sinn Féin's policy of recovering the North from the clutches of the Unionists uh, is a nice thought, but the fact that they want, uh, and there is, an open border between the North and the South and between the North and the United Ki uh, Kingdom is antithesis to the concept of the European Union now that the UK have left the European Union. So here we have two irreconcilable forces coming together and the result will be the plantation of Ireland once again, this time courtesy of Mr. Jeffrey Donaldson. If he gets his way and there's no hard border, there's no control on the Irish Sea. Interesting that the, uh, the old Scottish Presbyterian descendants will now be contributing enormously to a new plantation from Africa and all over the world in the south of Ireland if they get their way and they are most likely to get their way. And also interesting that uh, Sinn Féin are clamoring for something the same. They, they want no borders between the North and the South. Anyway, it's too long and porous a border to police. So you couldn't keep anybody out if you wanted to. But there, if there is no control on the Irish Sea, mark my words, Ireland will continue see, to see a massive influx of illegal economic migrants from all over the world, not just flying into Dublin Airport on planes, but arriving in the UK maybe with a visa or something, and then hopping across uh, tourist, uh, the, uh, migration, tourism shopping to, the U to Belfast and down to Ireland to present their request for international protection. Bye-bye, folks. Bye. Sorry, a long rant today.